So by no means is this a very efficient LED that you observe. But the essence of it is very similar to what happens in these very slick looking displays. What we just observed was the electron injection into an organic matter. Now that's a fancy way for simply saying, if I go ahead and inject some charge on one end and some opposite charge on the other end, they can meet in the middle and excite a molecule. That molecule will glow, especially if it happens to have a lot of sodium like you're seeing right here. So the consequence is that given any material, I can electrically excite it. Often things are not very, very efficient in the way they glow and hence we don't necessarily observe it. Here, we're passing a lot of current through a very small amount of material. Even if it's not very efficient in glowing, it's gonna still be observed because we're just doing it so repeatedly over and over and over and over again. This is an organic light emitting display. It uses organic light emitting devices, which essentially are thin layers of molecules. And you're looking at a series of them, the ones that emit red, green, and blue side by side to generate these full color images you're observing here. But what you're really looking at is uh, thin films, 100 molecules thick, that have two electrodes, one on top, one on the bottom. You apply about five volts between the top and the bottom, and current will flow through those molecules. As the molecule passes current, if a positive and a negative charge arrive on the same molecule, they form an excited state of the molecule. That molecule can then relax by dropping the negative charge into the positive charge, and in the process of that relaxation, give off a photon, very much the same as what's happening at a pickle. The only thing you need to do next is make sure that you have a million individual little devices side by side so that each one can glow of different color and each one can glow at precisely right point to generate the image. So I'm going to advertise this technology just by a little bit. This is a much simpler technology than may compare to an LCD technology. An LCD technology has polarizers, liquid crystals, electrodes, color filters. None of that is present in this particular OLED technology. OLEDs simply have these molecules between the electrodes. Hence, the manufacturing of them should be much, much simpler as time goes on. I say as time goes on because it's a very new technology and there are a couple of technological scaling up challenges that still need to overcome. The actual display is 0.3 microns. It's just to kind of give you a scale, your hair is 50 microns in diameter. So this is on the order of one hundredth of a thickness of your hair. If I have a film like that, I do not need very thick substrate to grow it on. Indeed, this whole device is only three millimeters in thickness. The power consumption of these displays is about one half of the power consumption of the similarly sized LCD. Beyond that, this is the very first generation of technology. It's using technology that was invented maybe 10 years ago. Stuff that has been invented more recently is another factor of 10 more efficient. So in the long run, we can see that these particular displays should be about 10, 20 times more efficient than the best LCDs of today.